Oftentimes in life, when the going gets tough, we find it hard to recall the value of simplicity. We're so consumed by the task at hand and how difficult it is that we forget to just take a step back and breathe. It's when you come to that realization that you see problem solving and learning in a whole new light. Sometimes hitting harder, running faster, or jumping higher is not the only solution to your problems. It's a subtle thing to understand that, especially in sports where you have all these complex strategies, cool flashy moves, and intense moments. Amidst all of that chaos, it takes a true competitor and player to remember the importance of fundamentals. And there is no greater story that expresses this concept better than Haikyuu. Haikyuu is an anime that is much more than just playing volleyball physically. It explores all these ideas of mental toughness, team synergy, team philosophies, diet, communication, and of course, the value of simplicity. The value of taking it easy. And we learn all of this through the eyes of none other than our main character himself, Hinata Shoyo, who comes to realize the beauty of simplicity better than anyone in the series. His journey, his struggles, his realization is one that teaches us what I can only call the greatest lesson in Haikyuu. At the beginning of Season 4, Hinata is clearly lagging behind. At this point, he was really not at that national level, especially when it came to his individual skills. He was a great attacking force, but other than that, Hinata completely relied on his instincts for every other aspect of the game. His defense, as well as his in-game sense, still needed a lot of work, unlike most of his teammates. Hinata never had any formal training regarding these things, and he was pretty much self-taught. And so, he's never really known the bliss of mastering the fundamentals. It's like that moment when Hinata learned about tipping, a smarter and really efficient way of scoring points. Until he actually experienced scoring a point that way, Hinata didn't think tipping was as cool as normal power spiking. However, the transition he has to make now is an even tougher adjustment to make. After all, Hinata, as well as Karasuno, have been an aggressive unit. They have great defenders, but most of their specialities lie in the various attacking strategies they use. Not only that, Hinata himself is all about speed. Scoring before the opponent can even react is his thing, but now he has to completely change his mindset. After all, speed is a gift and a curse. It's a gift when used at the right moment at the right time, but a curse if you overdo it. You start getting tunnel vision, lose your breath, and most importantly, forget to assess your surroundings. Going into nationals, Hinata couldn't afford to just face every single obstacle head on. He had to learn when to pull his punches, when to observe, and when to accelerate. Thinking about it like that, it must have been even harder for Hinata to adjust to this completely new mindset. I've personally been in a similar position with a different sport, where I found out I'd been doing something basic, completely wrong for about two years of my life. Confronting that fact is really hard, and then to convince yourself to start from scratch is even harder. Hinata, as someone who's been doing one thing, attacking, for a really long time, taking a step back, slowing down, and observing is actually pretty tough for him. And that's exactly what he sets out to fix, which is why he infiltrates Washijo's training camp. However, the old coach does not seem to like him, and gives Hinata only one option to become a ball boy. At first, we were all really scared for Hinata. He just sacrificed his Karasuno team practices to come here, and now he can't even play? That would mean he gets absolutely no practice and has to just stand there, waiting for balls to come his way. In other words, he has to take a step back, slow down, and observe. Honestly, I think Washijo-sensei realized what it was that Hinata lacked, 
and that's exactly why he made Hinata a ball boy. If Hinata actually joined the practices, I feel like he would have missed out on his main lesson observing and learning the fundamentals. You know that if he was practicing with everyone else, Hinata would have probably been focusing only on what he was doing. But now, because he doesn't have a choice, he's forced to watch the others. As the training camp progresses, no matter what he's doing, whether it be mopping floors, filling water, or drying jerseys, Hinata is always observing. The more he observes, the more he figures out patterns and uses those patterns to then predict the course of the ball. And predicting the course of the ball leads him to make massive leaps in his defensive skills. And here came a particular lesson that one could only learn if they were watching the game like a hawk. A lesson that is so simple, so subtle, that a normal viewer or even a player on the court would have a pretty hard time pointing it out. A lesson that transformed Hinata forever. It all begins when one of the training exercises consists of two on twos. That would mean that with only two players on the court, each of them would have to pull their own weight. One of those two and twos was a match between Kunimi, who was Kageyama's middle school teammate, versus Hyakuzawa, the two meter giant from season two. As Hinata observes this 2v2 game, he wonders why Kunimi's team always does so much better. It's not like they were doing anything differently, but they just seem to have a lot of time. On the flip side, Hyakuzawa was doing terribly. Not only was he the least experienced person in the camp, his technique was also really poor. After he loses over and over, Hyakuzawa is down in the dumps, eating himself up over his failures. However, Hinata then asks him to try something out that could help him in the game. It turns out that Hinata had figured out what Kunimi was actually doing. As Yakuzawa seems to panic for a split second, Hinata calls out to him, shouting the phrase, Let's take it easy. <laughs> That's what the key was. A simple technique requiring one to take it easy, where Kunimi simply passed the ball really high up on the first touch so that him and his teammate got time to take a nice, deep breath and attack at their own pace. It's a play that most people watching and sometimes even playing don't notice because there's nothing flashy or stylish about it. It's just simple and effective. So Hyakuzawa tries it out and immediately sees an improvement in his game. At the time when I first watched the episode, this scene seemed like it was a Hyakuzawa moment, and it kind of was, so a lot of us probably didn't think much of this. But this was the moment that captured the essence of simplicity the best. This play encompasses Hinata's entire purpose for training here. This is a play that is fundamental, basic, and requires one to be observant of the game, especially when things are chaotic. This one play was the perfect way for Hinata to come to appreciate the beauty of simplicity. Such a little thing having such a massive impact. And so the training camp comes to a close and we head off to nationals, the true test of Hinata's training. It's day two of nationals, Karasuno is facing off against Inarizaki, the second best team in Japan. If they lose, they're out. Inarizaki is a team truly worthy of its title, the ultimate challengers. This is one of, if not the most, intense game in Haikyuu up until this point, and it has moments that are absolutely insane. Karasuno takes the first set, with Hinata doing great offensively, but still struggling on his receives. However, Inarizaki catches up right away, showing us all these crazy strategies and attacks that win them the second set. It is now the third and final set. Karasuno and Inarizaki are neck and neck here, racking up the points back and forth. Karasuno is up by one, but Inarizaki seems more focused than ever. As the teams, tired but filled with adrenaline, go at it with each other, Karasuno decides to step it up a notch. 
They keep going faster and faster, quickly digging, setting, and spiking, trying to outmatch their opponent through raw power and speed. Every single member, including the defenders like Daichi, giving everything they have towards attacking and solely attacking. However, speed is a gift and a curse. Coach Ukai realizes this and tries to warn them, but they're so wrapped up in their fast-paced plays that they just don't seem to pay any attention. The very weapon that Karasuno specialized in was backfiring, clouding their vision and degrading their level of play. Although the plays might look flashy, Karasuno is panicking. To them, it might seem that they're doing great because they're moving faster and hitting harder, but it's the opposite. There's this beautiful scene where the screen keeps getting darker and darker, symbolizing that Karasuno's field of view has shrunk. They're not comprehending the entire game. They can only see the ball in front of them. As Inarizaki returns the ball once more, it seems like it's all lost as no one in Karasuno seems to be aware of their situation. Except... For one man. Let's take it easy. The whole team, although shocked, are instantly relieved of their stress. As Hinata makes that beautiful first touch, Karasuno finally takes a step back and breathes. When the pressure was on, when the team needed him the most, Hinata stepped up. Amidst all of that chaos, Hinata had the presence of mind to stick to the fundamentals. The exact problem Hinata faced before Nationals is what befell Karasuno. Yet, in a simple but poetic moment, their savior ended up being the one who, for the past few weeks, had done nothing but observe. The one who had been in a similar dilemma not long ago. With this one play, Hinata literally saved Karasuno, and as they reset their rhythm, they used this first touch to go on to win the entire game. Such a little thing having such a massive impact. It was this moment that truly embodied Hinata's entire journey and condensed it into a single moment in a way that I can only express as the greatest lesson in Haikyuu. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, consider liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. If you like my content and want to join the community, be sure to check out my Discord server, The Rainbase, as well as follow me on Twitter, both links in the description below. Other than that, I guess I'll see you on the next one.